1970s come alive Through this memory box we've known With country tunes and vintage scenes We'll take you back in time To a simpler place where love and melodies intertwine A box supper social, also known as a box social, was a traditional way to gather together, enjoy a meal, and raise funds for a worthy cause. This event holds a special place in American folklore and has been featured in numerous novels and books about American culture. Its history predates the gay 90s and is considered a delightful form of entertainment that is worth more than just the cost of the beautifully packed food. Looking back 20 years later, people began to reminisce about the box social with a sense of nostalgia. An article from the Greeley Daily Tribune in Colorado, published in March 1976, announced an upcoming box supper social in the nearby town of Alt. This event aimed to revive a piece of old-fashioned rural Americana and raise money for a community project. To add to the charm, there would be traditional entertainment provided by the Feedlot for Barbershop Quartet. The invitation extended to everyone in the county, encouraging them to join in the festivities. In our search, we discovered over a dozen photographs capturing the joyous atmosphere of past box socials. Some of these images have been colorized to bring them to life. Box socials, although less common nowadays due to modern transportation and entertainment options, still take place in communities where the tradition of making sandwiches is cherished and where love blossoms amidst the simple act of packing food in a cardboard box. This week, Life magazine takes us to a box social in Hudson, Michigan, a small town of 2,600 residents located in picturesque farmland near Bean Creek, just 10 miles from the Ohio border. A box social is more than just an indoor picnic. In addition to the delightful culinary treats, it offers elements of competition, chance, and emotional excitement. Competition arises from the dedication and skill that each girl or woman puts into creating and presenting her box for auction. Chance plays a role in the bidding process, as each boy or man, theoretically unaware of the box's creator, tries to win the box they desire. Emotional excitement comes with the successful acquisition of a box, as tradition dictates that the winning bidder must share the contents of the box with its creator. Hudson's Box Social, organized by the Mother's Club to support the town band, was a grand affair that attracted a large crowd. 800 residents of Hudson gathered in the school gymnasium, where the event began with a musical program performed by the children. Afterward, the attendees eagerly participated in the bidding process. Interestingly, it became apparent that many young men had received insider information about the ribbons and wrappings on the boxes, as they miraculously ended up with the boxes created by the girls they desired. By the end of the evening, everyone was happily satiated with olives, radishes, bananas, and candies, and the school band had raised $105 towards their new uniforms. Invite each girl attending the party to bring a delicious supper for two, consisting of a sandwich and something else. Encourage them to wrap their boxes in an attractive manner. During the party, have the guys bid against each other for each box and the opportunity to share its contents with the owner. This party idea can be suggested as a means for teenagers to raise funds for youth center activities or for the youth group in their church. You can keep it simple or make the occasion more festive by decorating the backyard with colorful Japanese lanterns. The teenagers might even enjoy dressing up in costumes. Boys can wear derby hats and vibrant plaid vests, while girls can easily put together gay 90s outfits from their own wardrobes. As the hostess, you can provide lemonade to drink and ice cream for dessert. After supper, play phonograph records and let the young people dance. Alternatively, plan games that everyone can participate in. A modern version of the traditional box supper social from 1955 will also appeal to college students. It's a fun way to reconnect with hometown friends during summer vacations from school. In this event, 
the Home Bureau's 30 members, ranging in age from 20 to 40, invite their husbands and other male guests to join them. They take over the upper floor of the firehouse and successfully raise $75 through a box supper social. An enthusiastic auctioneer takes the stage, using his smooth-talking skills to encourage the crowd to bid. He starts the bidding for a lady's box, which contains supper for two, at one dollar, making it more exciting and enjoyable for everyone involved. One particular box fetches an impressive $38.50, but only 10% of each bid is actually paid. To make the bidding more competitive, some boxes contain surprises or gimmicks that the auctioneers promote as if they hold valuable treasures like the Cohen or Diamond. The women demonstrate their creativity by decorating the boxes in various imaginative ways. Each box is disguised as something unique, eliciting admiration and awe from onlookers. Examples include a gumdrop cottage, a circus chariot, and a California bust covered wagon. No shape or size limits their inventiveness, and cleverness is rewarded on the auction block. One box that garners much love and laughter features a backyard with a picket fence on its lid, complete with a wash line displaying comically small unmentionables. Before the boxes are opened at midnight, the attendees enjoy lively hoedown and folk dances that reverberate through the firehouse. The music selection includes square dance and folk dance records, and an administrative officer from a nuclear research lab adds to the excitement by providing lively commentary over a microphone as his hobby. The festivities include traditional dances like Swing Your Partner and calls to join hands for Hungarian dances and freestyle polkas. The participants, filled with childlike glee, also engage in a game called Musical Box. In this game, a box is passed around in a circle, and the person holding it when the music stops is eliminated. The last person remaining on the dance floor is declared the winner, and their prize is hidden inside the box they are holding. Experience the excitement of a youthful picnic that transforms into a lively, swinging hoedown, or a trendy box social with a cha-cha beat. When combined with music and food, two essential elements in a teenager's life, an outdoor setting becomes the perfect backdrop. The promise of delicious food, in abundance, makes picnic invitations irresistible. Spontaneous outings are also a blast, and most of the delectable treats can be sourced from mom's refrigerator. For a touch of elegance, a picnic lunch can be transformed into a glamorous rendition of grandma's old-fashioned box suppers. In these events, the highest bidder, relying on luck, charm, and financial means, wins the company of the most beautiful girl and the most extravagant lunch box. The modern version of the box social eliminates the element of surprise. More often than not, the girl already knows her date's food preferences and ensures they are included in the lunch box. At a backyard picnic, teenage girls proudly display the picnic boxes they have decorated for their friends. To accompany the fancy box lunches, ice-cold Coke, Pepsi, or any other soft drink can be served. Experience the joy of spending an afternoon in the backyard, surrounded by friends, while listening to an exhilarating ball game. As the thrill of home runs and stolen bases fills the air, you'll surely work up an appetite. Treat your guests to mouth-watering hot dogs and deliciously baked beans, complete with all the delightful trimmings. Let's gather everyone for a spontaneous picnic party. We can bring out the record player and prepare delicious food in individual lunch boxes. We can make corned beef sandwiches on rye bread with pickles, lettuce, and tomatoes. We can also have crispy cold slaw and a variety of cold drinks. Experience the charm of an old-fashioned box social and transport yourself to a simpler time. Picture this, a scorching hot day, tempers rising, and hunger pangs that cannot be satisfied by mundane meals. But fear not. Grab your picnic basket and escape to the great outdoors. Indulge in mouth-watering country fried chicken, served refreshingly cold. 
accompany it with a delectable potato salad bursting with flavor. And to top it all off, savor a slice of rich chocolate cake that will make you completely oblivious to the sweltering heat. Leave behind the chaos of modern life and immerse yourself in the nostalgia of a bygone era. Join us for a delightful journey back in time, where the simple pleasures of good food and good company reign supreme. Experience the charm of an old-fashioned box social and discover a clever way to catch the attention of the gentleman. Picture a lunchbox adorned with playing cards, a delightful sight that is sure to captivate. But it's not just the exterior that matters, the true allure lies within. Imagine a delectable assortment of fresh sliced cucumbers, mouth-watering fried chicken, crisp celery sticks, and hearty, man-sized sandwiches. This is the essence of a box social, where tradition meets creativity and deliciousness knows no bounds. Let's take a look at what an old-fashioned box social was like. To create a nautical-themed lunch box, you can start by decorating a fancy shoe box with tiny flags. Then, fill it up with lots of delicious and seaworthy food. To make sure the food stays fresh, you can individually wrap brownies, tomatoes, eggs, and sandwiches in saran wrap. Experience the charm of an old-fashioned box social as we take a closer look at the feminine touch given to the lunch box container. Instead of the traditional lunch box, a beautifully decorated hat box is used to hold all the delightful treats that make picnics truly unforgettable. Inside this box lunch, you'll find mouth-watering double-filled sandwiches, individual salads neatly presented in paper cups, delectable raisin cupcakes, and crisp, fresh apples. In the good old days, a box social was a popular form of entertainment for those born less than 100 years ago. It involved a woman preparing a delicious lunch and placing it in a shoe box or similar container. She would then wrap it in pretty paper and decorate it. Typically, a woman would give a hint to her favorite man, hoping that he would bid the highest for her supper. Sometimes, she would even disguise her creation to make it challenging for her man to choose the right one to bid on. The goal of the whole event was for a man to buy a box supper to share with the woman who prepared it. Often, the supper prepared by the most popular girl would spark lively bidding from potential suitors. Many times, the best decorated package would sell for more than the bow of the preparer could afford, resulting in his girl eating with his rival. At Alt Social, there will be three divisions, married, single, and double. Prizes will be given for the best decorated box in each division. The single division is meant for single girls to showcase their wit and attract the best suitors. In the doubles division, two girls can team up to prepare supper, while two men can pool their resources to purchase the privilege of eating with the two girls. It's like a blind date roulette. The married division can be simpler or more complicated, depending on the wife's whim. If she's angry with her husband, he might have to buy two or three suppers just to get the right one. However, if he can understand her thoughts, he might bid on someone else's supper and have his friend buy the one prepared by his wife. They can then simply trade suppers to maintain peace in both families.